when Governor Gavin Newsom signed the CARE Act into law in September, he set the clock on seven counties to have the program with its signature courts up and running by October 1, 2023. The graduated rollout gives the rest of the state, including Los Angeles County, until December 2024, but the Community Assistance, Recovery and Empowerment Act has already been hailed as a fix for the state's broken behavioral health system, a road to recovery for those who are severely mentally ill. They point to the logistical and financial challenges of launching a labor-intensive program from scratch, as well as the limiting effect of a decades-old law already on the books governing the treatment of mentally ill people in California. The language attending the rollout of this has been heady. But the changes will likely be incremental. Veronica Kelly, Behavioral Health Director for Orange County, which has also been tagged for the early rollout, has been working with the National Alliance on Mental Illness to make clear what care court is and what it isn't. There is no involuntary medicating of people, she said. This isn't a housing program. This is no one and done program. Though the tragedy playing out among those living with severe mental illness in homeless encampments throughout the state frequently elicits calls for immediate and declarative action, the complexity of the issue defies a quick fix, by intent. The state's history of incarcerating mentally ill people in asylums through the 1960s still casts a long shadow from when it institutionalized up to 37,000 people in the mid-1950s, many of them indigent, vagrant, the hyper-marginalized, as Alex Barnard, assistant professor of sociology at New Y. Despite sweeping claims, the CARE Act like other attempts to legislate treatment for severe mental illness, is constrained by the Lanterman Petrus Short Act, which was passed in 1967 as the state began closing down many of its state mental facilities after decades of neglect and abuse of patients. LPs, as it is known, defined how far the state can go toward forcing someone to be hospitalized and to take psychiatric medication. In an attempt to balance the need for treatment and respect for autonomy, it established criteria for conservatorship either by a family member or a public guardian. The LPs Act was a landmark legislation recognizing the complex intersection of mental illness and civil rights. It remains for the most part a widely accepted, precedent-breaking set of regulations, said Rod Shainer who served as medical director for the Los Angeles County Department of Mental Health from 1996 to 2018, 